Hello, my beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well. I have a very Christmas in July unboxing for you guys. It's the Department 56 Village. Um, not every single building, but the buildings that I could find still available right now. There is a lot of these buildings from Department 56 that are pre-order. They're set to release between uh, mid-August all the way to October, depending on where you pre-order them. Because, you know, Christmas is in December. But I decided to start hunting for them right now after Hallmark released their ornaments. So I started thinking about Christmas, what did I wanted to do. I mentioned on my Instagram that I love Disney for Christmas and I have always, for like the last six years, decorated my house with Disney for Christmas. So I was not planning on decorating my whole house with Harry Potter. But since my entryway, it's, it has this huge mirror of every set, it's definitely gonna be decorated with Harry Potter stuff. I won't put Disney all over it. I feel it would look weird. So I was thinking of putting the village. So I started researching, putting prices on an Excel spreadsheet, and I tried to really like organize myself when I make a wish list. And a friend reached out and said that she saw going for sale like 50% off the Department 56 castle in Books a Million. So I went to two different ones and find the two different parts. I found the train. <laughs> the train, here it is. So the train, you can find it on Amazon Prime for like $90. It fluctuates. Sometimes it says 100, sometimes it says 85. I have even seen it at 74. Um, Books a Million had a mark for 140, but when it rang, it rang for $50. And if you're a member of the Books a Million annual membership, you get a 10% on top of that. So I literally paid like $45 for this one. The castle, same thing. It was $180 both parts each 180 and uh they had it ringing for 100 so after the membership i ended up paying 90 which is a 50 percent off discount and i feel it's a great price to pay because if you go online you would literally at the cheapest options end up paying like 380 dollars for them 385 so almost 400 bucks which honestly i think it's worth it it looks really pretty on pictures but enough talking, let's get to opening it. I also got this um, Harry Todd, but I got it on Amazon. I saw it listed for 130, I got it for like 120. Um, the people that has the village says it's one of the most beautiful buildings. So I'm excited for adding it. I did add it during the week. I did add it Ollivanders. Um, Ollivanders was the original building that I wanted um, because I don't have any other building either from Hallmark or any other building in my collection for Ollivanders. So I really wanted something like what I have that is a burrow. Um, okay, okay, it's upside down. So I have the burrow uh, from the Department 56 and it's one of my favorite pieces in my whole collection. Like every time someone asks, I say it's the burrow. But I never thought of completing the village. So I'm glad I'm finally am getting to it because they all seem to be done with great quality. Okay, you guys. I don't know how to get this out of here. I don't want to break it. beautiful so i was reading reviews and it says that um people that buy department 56 villages for years are used to the pieces being ceramic versus this one was resin um which was one of the you know major complaints um as a harry potter collector like i don't collect 
collect Christmas villages. I collect Harry Potter stuff. So my review might be different from those that are looking extreme great quality in their castle. Wow, but I feel this looks beautiful. So I cannot wait to see it light it up. Okay, let's open the second part of the castle before we go to Hagrid's hut. Okay, so it has some. thought of opening any of these things before I literally have been just sitting in my in my desk waiting to unbox them with you guys um my cardigan in case you're wondering I found it in Hot Topic and it was um sold out in Hot Topic online unfortunately but I saw her universe was selling them so I obviously got the Gryffindor one but if you want other houses, um, her universe had a great selection of all the houses. I think they were just selling out of a couple of sizes. So I'm, I'm gonna link them in the description down below. Part, it's the astronomy tower and they do have a third part that it's called the Allery. I have not found that one. Um, I'm probably gonna get it closer to Christmas time. Ooh. Okay, this is beautiful. I'm gonna figure out for you guys how, what's the right um, way to put it. And I'm gonna just set the whole village for you guys to see the borough, all the manners, the castle. Hagrid's hot and the train all together. Um, I was afraid the color would be different because honestly, in the boxes, <laughs> the color here is different than the color here. I was like, this looks darker, the astronomy tower, but in person, as you guys can see, they are the same color. So that is good. <laughs> okay, now let's do my men's Hagrid's. Um, which I have Hagrid and Buffy the uh, little ceramic pieces that you know how do they call it the characters for the villages so I don't I'm not planning on collecting those because honestly this will be sitting on my empty way so I'm already short on space when it comes to it oh by the way this came with the village for the castle I'm just gonna put it here. Oh. Again, it comes like this on a little box. Um, this is how the village came, the, the lighting came for Hagrid's hut. So this has a light bulb here. Ollivander also came with a separate light bulb. Um, the complaint with the castle is also that the light bulb doesn't come separately. And like the burrow, because the burrow is like that too. Apparently, you cannot change the light bulb, so I'm not sure what happens when it goes off. You, if you die forever, if the permit 56 will exchange it, substitute it, if there's any guarantee, I'm not quite sure. I'm praying my lamps stay on for a couple of years at least, so the investment doesn't hurt. Let me tell you, one of the things that I love about this is the size. Like compared to Hallmark, which obviously is ornaments, so we're not saying or Hallmark has a village, but compared to, you know, Hallmark keepsakes and the Bradford Exchange, which is a little bit like hard to find because you have to go through a whole subscription thing with Bradford Exchange. And um, they are like covered in snow, which makes it look more like Christmas. They're like, they're, their painting is, hand painted and it looks a little bit wacky sometimes versus look how beautiful this hut looks again even if you don't want to do the christmas village as part of your shelves as part of your collection 
this would look amazing. So I never care about the hut because Funko already gave us a hut. Um, same with the castle, I had the Lego castle. So I'm just getting into the villages for the purpose of, you know, putting them in my entryway. Um, maybe someday I will display them on top of my shelf. I'm not sure yet. I have way too many pops on top of my shelf right now. Okay, so now let's get to the train. That was way easier to open. Thank you, Jesus. It comes like this. As you guys can see, it's not too long. But I do like detail on it. Look at this beauty. So I was thinking of not getting this train, like it wasn't part of my wish list. Um, I wanted to get other buildings first, but for $50, it's a hell yes. I'm so excited. Honestly, looking at the quality I'm painting in it, it's, I think it's worth the $90. Like eventually I would have paid the $90, especially if it's like, if it lights up. So, wait a minute. Okay, so these two things, I just made that all that noise. These are like pieces of railroad that go before and after the train. Pretty cool. So I'll show you guys how everything lights up together. Um, last but not least, I got this one. Again, I was not thinking of getting the characters, but this was $40 retail and I paid $18. Um, again, Books and Millions had it just sitting there. The employee said, I've been working here for almost two years and I have seen that merch just sit there all the time that I've been working here. So I guess they didn't have enough interest in some stores. Ooh. Okay, Hagrid's face is weird, but Buckbeak looks great. Like look at Buckbeak. And from afar, Hagrid looks decent and his thing moves. Okay, this is actually really cute. Okay, this is cute. I have no, I have no intention of collecting the rest, but this is cute. I, 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 I'm happy I have this so I can put it by my, by my hut. Okay, I'm gonna go set everything up in the entryway and show you guys the result. Okay, you guys, here you can see all the pieces connected I'm truly loving it. The train is battery operated. It's the only one that require two C batteries. The rest are just connected to the wall. So we have to find a way to, to fix that cable mess we have down there, but you know, we have some time, but I love how it looks. Okay, here's how it's look when it's not on. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Um, I have a couple of them pre-ordered, like the three broomsticks and honeydukes, and I am currently waiting for Green Gods and Wizard Wazes to come from the UK. So I will make it a cute village eventually. For now, for the fall, I'm thinking of just adding like orange leaves and pumpkins everywhere but I'll show you guys the result on my Instagram. So make sure you join us there at uh, Dear Jammies. That's it for today. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna be collecting the Department 56 Village, if you're just gonna go for the Hallmark ornaments, if you're gonna be looking for the Bradford Exchange one, which honestly, I do not blame you. It's covered in snow and it looks so beautiful. It's a little bit smaller than this one, but you know what? If I could have all the villages, I would probably go for it too. But money and space, money and space. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.